Happy New Year. Welcome back to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If you are new here, welcome. Come on in and join the family. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and remember the notification bell because that way you will be reminded every time I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create lovely DIYs using mostly items that I find at the Dollar Tree. I try to keep my DIYs budget friendly but easy to do. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you want to see some of my creations, then keep watching. And I want to take a moment to say thank you so much. All of your support means the world to me and I am so grateful and I'm excited to be sharing some new ideas in 2021. I am so happy for today's video because this is the first video of the year and I will be sharing with you guys some of my kitchen decor creations. And I'm gonna get started with the first DIY. I will be using two of these wood crates from the Dollar Tree. And all of these items did come from the Dollar Tree. I'll be using two pieces out of this brain teaser. The other items I have is some of these tumbling blocks. I will be using some Dollar Tree ribbon, but I may switch out this one. These signs here were put out for Valentine's and I absolutely love them because they're the perfect sign for some ideas that I have in mind. I will remove these hearts and use them for a Valentine's Day DIY. Also, I was originally going to use some black acrylic paint, but instead I'm going to use my white chalk paint. So what I'm going to do first is remove these hearts that I'm going to use for a later DIY. And then what I'm going to do is pull off the ribbon that has the two pieces attached. I will be gluing these two pieces together because these signs have that bend in them that the Dollar Tree signs sometimes have. And for this DIY, I need something very sturdy. So what I'm gonna do is glue the two pieces together. And this is gonna make my wood pieces sturdy. And I will have three sets of these after I glue them together. And then what I'm gonna do after I get that done is I am gonna glue together nine sets of two of these tumbling blocks and I'm just gluing them together side by side and I will create nine sets of these twos and what I will be creating is a little shelving unit to hold my tea bags and so what I'm going to do first is just sand down where the ribbon was attached with the staples just to make sure that everything is smooth and then I'm gonna start adding my tumbling block set to my wood pieces. And so I'm gonna start with the end first and I'm just gonna add one on this end and then I'll go to the other side. And after I get the ends done, just to make sure that everything is even, I will add the third one right in the middle. And I am gonna flip this sign over and do the exact same thing to the other side. And after I get those three on there, what I'll do is I'll find the middle and I will add the last three down the middle. And now what I'm going to do is take a second set of the wood signs and I am going to glue them right on top of these tumbling block pieces. And gluing those two together made this very sturdy. And now what I'm going to do is take the last piece and I'm going to add it and that's going to be the back of my little shelving unit. And I'm just adding glue all along the back as well as on the tumbling blocks so I can make sure that the back is secure. And then once I get that all secured, what I'm gonna do next is I am gonna take the two wood crates and I am going to add these two pieces of the brain teaser and those are going to be my handles so I can create my draws for the unit and I'm just adding these pieces right in the middle and after I get those added I am going to paint both of the draws as well as the shelf with this white chalk paint and I'm going to make sure that I paint the insides and all around because I want everything to be nice and neat and so I'll be painting the entire pieces and after I get everything painted I'm just going to take that file and I'm just going to distress around the edges of the little shelf
and so what I'm going to do after I finish this is I switched out the black and white polka dot ribbon for the Dollar Tree cork ribbon I love to use that ribbon and so I am going to add it to the draws only and what I'm doing is I'm just going to take some hot glue and tack it down and I'm going to add it to the bottom as well as the top now I'm only adding the glue to the corners because that way if I did want to switch out the ribbon it will be easy and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the excess ribbon and I'm going to add it to the top as well and I'm just doing the same step just adding the glue to the corners and I'm going to do the same thing to the second drawer as well. And after I add my ribbon to both of these drawers, this shelving unit will be complete. And then what I'm going to do next is create something to style with that. And it will be these two little wood planters. I have those from the Dollar Tree as well as two different style succulents. I think these both were cute. And I also will be using some of these Dollar Tree small letters. I've had those for a while. I have two round foam balls and I also will be using some of the Dollar Tree nautical rope as a filler. Now what I'm doing first is using that same white chalk paint and I am going to paint both of these little wood boxes. And after I get the little wood boxes painted, I am going to go in and just file around the edges a little bit just to add a little distress. And then I'm going to add my little letters. Now on these little box planters, I am going to be adding tea on one and time for the other one. So it's going to say tea time. And so I'm going to start adding my letters and I'm going in with tea first on one. And I thought this would be really cute to style with my little shelving unit that's going to hold my little tea bags. And so after I get the tea on there, I'm just going to add time to the other one. And then I am going to mod podge over those letters just to make sure that they stay on there and that they are secure. And then after that dries, I'm just going to take those round foam balls. They fit nice and snug inside. And then I'm going to clip these succulent picks down some so they can fit nice and snug as well. And then I'm just going to push those right in. And after I get these in there, I'm not going to glue that nautical rope down. I'm using it as a filler. So what I'm going to do is take it and I'm going to wrap it right up under the succulent just covering the little foam ball. And after I feel like I got everything covered, I'm just gonna cut off the excess rope and then just tuck it down into the planter because everything is nice and tight, so it will stay in there. And then I'm gonna repeat that step for the other one. And here's my cute little planters, and here is them styled with the little shelf. I think this is so cute. And so now what I'm gonna do is get started on the third DIY for today. And for this DIY, I'll be using more of that cork ribbon. Also, I have four packs of these tags, and all of these items are from the Dollar Tree as well, except for my greenery. And for this, I'm only gonna be using the chalkboard piece. I'm not gonna use the wood frame. I have this Valentine's Day sign from the Dollar Tree. I love this. It did have glitter on the words, but I took that file and filed down the glitter. And here's the greenery pick that I got from Walmart. It was 98 cent. I will be using some Jew cord. I have two of the little wood blocks from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'll be using these two little screw-in hooks. And I got those out of a pack from Walmart for a dollar. And I'm using that white chalk paint as well again. And I am going to paint over this entire sign, even around the sides as well. And after I get that painted, I am going to take that ribbon and I'm going all around the frame, tacking it down. And what I'm creating is a little kitchen calendar. And I'm making sure that I tack the ribbon all the way around, making sure that it's nice and even. 
and after I get the ribbon all around the frame what I'm going to do next is take that greenery pick and I am going to cut off two stems and I'm going to attach those two stems together by using some of that jute cord and I'm just going to wrap it around to connect the stems and once I get it wrapped around I'm going to take that and just glue it right to the top of the frame and I'm just adding some decor to the calendar and then the next thing I'm going to do is take two of these tags and I'm just putting them where I'm going to have them and I'm just going to mark the spots the next thing is I painted those little wood squares so I'm just screwing the little hooks in there I'm holding it tight because I don't want the little wood pieces to crack as I'm screwing in the hook and after I get those two screwed in I'm going to glue them down on the spots that I marked and so I'm just going to take the hot glue and tack that down and once I get those tacked down I'm going to take that chalkboard that I removed from the frame and I'm going to glue that right to the top and for some extra decor I am going to take some jute cord and I'm going to glue it around the chalkboard and I really thought this would be really cute and something simple for the kitchen so after I get the jute cord tacked down, I am going to take those tags and I am going to start adding the numbers. I have two sets of 10. That's why I needed four packs because there were six in the pack. And I'm just going to write January on the chart board. And then all I have to do is hang my tags and this DIY will be complete. And I think it is so simple, but it turned out so cute. I'm excited about styling this piece in the kitchen. And so I'm gonna get started now on the fourth DIY for today. I have a three pack of these painter sticks from Walmart for $3.19. I also have three of the Dollar Tree chart boards. I also will be using some jute cord and more of that acrylic paint now I'm using the acrylic paint because it's going to give me a lighter coat and I kind of still wanted to see some of that natural color peek through and I'm going to get these painted and what I'm going to do is line up the chart boards because I'm going to glue the sticks to the back now I'm just going to line them up to make sure that the distance between the chart boards is the same distance and I just grab my chart marker to help me estimate the distance and then I'm going to glue the sticks down now this is a much needed DIY that I need to create for my kitchen because my family always asks what's for breakfast what's for lunch and what's for dinner so I decided for the new year I am going to create a menu board so they can stop asking so what I'm doing is adding the other stick to the other side first before I add the middle one because that makes sure that everything is straight for me and after I get the sticks added what I'm going to do next is add the jute cord so I can be able to hang my little menu fence so I'm going to add the cord to the sides first so I'm just going to add some hot glue and tack it down to the side and then after I get it tacked down to the sides I'm going to go in and tack it down at the top so I'm going on one side tacking it down and then I'm going to go to the other side I'm not going to tack anything down in the middle because that's how I'm going to hang it and now what I'm going to do is just write bread fix on one lunch and then dinner and then this DIY is complete and what I'm going to do now is create my final DIY to style with this board and what I'll be using for this DIY is more of that white acrylic paint I have some jute cord I'm going to be using the rest of those greenery pieces off of that bunch I have two of these holiday signs that I had in my stash. I will be using some of those small Dollar Tree letters as well as the large poster letters. And what I'm going to do first is glue these two signs together. This is going to give me the size that I was looking for as well as the thickness. Now since I like my signs to be finished on both sides, I had some of this contact paper from the Dollar Tree on hand. And I'm just going to cut a piece to cover the back. I'm not trying to be super perfect for this. I just feel better if both sides are finished. So I'm just going to take this to cover up the glitter and the decor on that side. And once I get that down, I'm going to go in and I am going to take that uh, acrylic paint and I'm going to paint over just a very light coat I'm just using one coat because I still want to see that natural color peek through 
and after I get this painted I'm going to go in with my greenery and I'm going to add it only to one side of this sign and I'm going to add it to the side where I connected the two signs together so I just pull pieces off of that pick and I'm just gluing them down just on this one side and after I get my greenery tacked down what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those letters and I am going to take the poster letters and add Jenny's so I'm just going to put Jenny's kitchen on this sign and I'm going to take the small letters to add the kitchen I am going to mod podge over these to make sure that everything is secure I took some Jew cord just to tie a little bow and I'm going to add it right on the greenery and I'm going to add the Jew cord as well as the popsicle stick so I can hang this now I do have a pack of Dollar Tree white spoons I think I'm going to wrap some Jew cord around it and just attach it to the front and here is how it turned out this is so cute I really like the Jenny's kitchen sign and this is how everything turned out today and I'm so excited for my little tea time set up this is so cute and I've already added a couple of bags of my favorite teas I think this is so adorable and I cannot wait to get this all styled in the kitchen and here are some of my nighttime teas as well as one of my favorites I love lemon with vitamin C I just want to say thank you all so much for supporting my channel ever since I've started this journey in 2020 I have been shown so much kindness on this platform and I am truly grateful thank you all for being on this journey with me I'm excited for 2021 and all of the new ideas that I have to share with you I am hoping for us all that this year brings us more love peace togetherness as well as prosperity as always let me know in the comment box below which one of these DIYs were your favorite. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. Until next time, my friends, stay safe and Happy New Year.